What's up guys? I'm going to do a video today that a lot of people probably um, have questions about. I get a lot of messages about it and um, just in general, you know, a, a topic of overview. This is going to be my opinion and, you know, my approach on how to start a fitness channel and how to grow your fitness channel on YouTube. So the first thing you need to understand is, you know, there's everyone has a fitness channel. You know, everyone and their mother has a fitness channel. And you know, a lot of people will say, you know, Max, you never got popular until Nick Wright brought you on, or you know, you never did this until you did Omar's challenge, or blah blah blah. And and that is true. So you know, I am not saying that I'm a top YouTuber. I'm a very small YouTuber, um, but I have grown. Um, you know, pretty decently over the past, you know, X number of months, um, you know, and I, I do owe a lot of it to NWB, RIP, and, you know, so so that's that's that. But I'm going to give you my opinion on how I think you should start a YouTube channel, how, you know, what I've seen works, and uh, some tips and tricks from uh, Mr. Max and Shoulder Guy. So the first thing that I want to dive into is that Everyone has already talked about every topic on YouTube, okay? You know, I can go to any channel and find a video on creatine. I can go to any channel, find a video on, you know, how to gain weight. Everyone has the same topics, you know, and everyone probably repeats the same topics. So you might say, what's the point of all these different YouTube channels if, uh, you know, if they're all saying the same thing? You know, you can only say creatine does so much, right? You know, if Lane Norton can give the scientific facts about it, and then you know I can talk of my thing. It's like obviously you should watch Lane Norton's over mine. You know, yeah. But the key is I can listen to a million different people talk about nutrition because, or fitness because it's it's interesting to me. And that's the biggest thing is you want to make your videos interesting. So the first thing that I want to talk about is going to be your personality, guys. You know. You want to be yourself on camera, but you need to have an outgoing personality. You know, if if your friends call you Wacky Wally, because all the time you're like, you know, YOLO and doing all this crazy stuff, and then you get on camera and you're like, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you how to bake chicken and I might go to the gymnasio later. You know, then you gotta loosen up, be yourself, you know, don't be afraid to be Wacky Wally on there. But on the other hand, if you are, you know, serious Steve in real life, if someone is like, yeah, hey, punch buggy, and you're like, stop, that's abuse. But then you get on camera and you're like, whoa, crazy Steve here doing wacky, super crazy things. You know, it's going to seem out of place. <laughs> the point is, you know, be yourself. Have a good personality. Don't be afraid of the camera. You know, get on there, show your emotions, show your personality, and the people will like that, okay? You know, don't be, don't be so monotone. Don't be, you know, creatine uh, can increase muscle size, you know? Talk about it. Give your opinion. Be relaxed. Talk to the camera. Um, a lot of things other is going to be, uh, you know, persistence is you got to be persistent with these videos. Um, you know, some YouTubers, like I am not very big, okay, so I, I post a good amount of YouTube videos because I am not, you know, Omar or I am not, you know, Vitality where I can post one to two videos a week and people are waiting for it and people are still subscribing. I have to create quality content on a regular basis for people to, 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 to realize me, to, to, you know, to to see my channel and see like, okay, he's you know, putting out a good amount of videos. You know, what's the point if you have under 500 subscribers to be like, I'm only gonna put out one video a week because my videos are such quality that you know, I only, they only need one video a week. It's like, that, you may think that, but you, you're not gonna pop up, okay? You want a good amount of videos, but not too much. You only, you're only posting, uh, you know, today I went to the bathroom, today I went to the gym, today I did this. No, no, no. The key is quality and quantity equilibrium guys you know put it together so you want to put out a good amount of videos but you don't want to put too much you don't want to put too little and you want to make sure they're quality make sure the topics are thought out but you don't really want scripted things um, I mean I get on here I freestyle you know I'm I'm slim shady on the on the on the ones and twos on these videos and you know so you don't want to be scripted but you want to have a structure so if you you know think of some key topics like this video I had like three key topics and I'm like and I'm boom 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 but sometimes I get off track and I go you know every which way so you never know which way I'm gonna come in but you know the broad overview is still getting to you um, you know the next thing is gonna be uh, let's see here we got persistence we got your personality uh, the, the next thing is, is is patience guys it takes time to grow I mean you know thankfully thankfully 
Mr. Nick Wright, you know, got me out there, and then, you know, he basically, he planted the seed. He planted the YouTube seed, and then Max Tuning grew. <laughs> Max Tuning grew into, you know, Max Tuning of Max Tuning uh, YouTube. So, but regardless, I'm, I'm, so we're not talking about how I got started, you know, yeah, it was convenient that I knew Nick, and, you know, he's a great guy, and he got me lots of exposure, blah, 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 but I'm saying, you know, regardless of how Nick helped me, I've still put out videos that still gain, you know, me success or, you know, viewers over this, this course of, you know, however many months I've been doing this. So you got to be patient, you know. You can't just expect to put out a video and be like, you know, viral video, I got 15,000 subscribers overnight. No, you know. You know, I, I grow on like an average of like maybe a thousand subscribers a month, uh, roughly around there, which I think is fantastic. My, my, and, you know, um, you know, I'm growing on a consistent basis, and that's good because I'm putting out quality content. And the, one of the biggest things is you have to have something that stands out about, out about yourself, okay? You can't, you know, don't get a russet potato camera and that looks like it's from, you know, Flintstones age and then make these videos, okay? You, if, if, if you could be the best speaker in the world, but it, it, the second someone clicks on a video and they have to, like, think that their vision's terrible because your quality is so bad of the video, you know, they're going to exit out before they even get to this million-dollar secret you could be telling everyone. So, you know, you don't have to get a crazy nice camera, but get a decent camera. You know, get something. If you're interested in it, and that's another thing. I mean, you shouldn't be doing YouTube strictly for the money. You shouldn't be like, I'm going to make a YouTube video or, you know, a YouTube channel, and I'm going to be the richest man in all the land. No. You know, make YouTube videos because it's fun. I enjoy making these YouTube videos for you guys. I enjoy making feedback. I, I probably would put these videos out more often, you know, if I didn't feel like I was annoying you guys so much because I, I, I as soon as I film a video, I want to put it out because I'm like, I want instant gratification. So, you know, the quality of your videos, you know, you guys have something that stands out. So the quality of your videos could be one. Uh, I mean, shout out like Christian Guzman. Um, you know, I never even heard of this guy and he had like 25,000 subscribers. But then I stumbled upon his channel one day because, you know, that the, he has a lot of videos out. So it's going to happen to pop up. Someone's going to happen to mention him. And I randomly stumbled upon. First thing I noticed, I was like, God damn, you know, this guy has great quality. Like the video, he's using, he was using this T3i that I'm using. Um, and that's what stood out. And I was like, okay, I'm, you know, it, it's appealing to watch. It's calming to watch. So, you know, don't get a potato camera, you know. And I don't do a lot of editing on my videos. But, uh, you know, another like channel, a smaller channel like uh, MW Fitness. You know, they're a smaller channel and they're trying and I see them putting out videos and stuff and I watch all their videos and they put like significant amounts of more editing into their videos than I ever do. So congratulations and kudos to them, you know, but, but, and they keep doing it. You know, they don't get demotivated or people, you shouldn't get demotivated if you don't blow up all of a sudden. It takes time. You got to remember why you're doing this. You're doing it because you enjoy doing it. You're enjoying it because you love what you're doing. You want to preach. You want to help people. You know, you want to make videos and, uh, you know, if, if you become the next you know, Greg Plitt because of it, then congratulations and you have made it and you are a superstar in the YouTube community. Um, you know, I, I know I know that I'm, I rant and rant and rant on this stuff, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. But basically, you know, you know, have a good personality on YouTube, okay? Have good topics. It doesn't matter that they've already been covered, you know? It, it's, I, get, I, get, I get YouTube, you know, comments and stuff that are like, you know, make a video on uh, meal timing. There's a million videos on meal timing, but they want to know what I think of it. You know, they want to know how I'm going to approach it. And that's the thing. I can sit there and watch. I watch tons of YouTube videos, and I watch everyone's different opinion on it. So, you know, don't be afraid to tackle the same topics, but have a good opinion on it, you know? Have something that stands out. You know, have something that's going to catch people's eye, whether it be your logo, whether it be your cool-ass intro, whether it be your editing, whether it be the quality of your camera, you know, whether it be how jacked you are, whether it be how lean you are, you know, whether it be your facial aesthetics, you know, are you pleasing? Do you have a great voice? Those things. You know, if you're Joe Schmo, plain, boring, Bob, doo-doo, <laughs> yeah, then maybe you are made out for YouTube. But, you know, I wish all you guys luck. I get, you know, I get a lot of, uh, you know, messages and stuff like, hey, check out my YouTube channel. Hey, you know, can you shout my channel out? And that, that's, I, I'm like honored that you guys would even think that I'm big enough to, you know, I'm wor worthy enough to do this. But I, I do check out all these channels. So if you guys have these channels, I'll check them out. I subscribe to a lot of smaller guys because they're interesting. I mean, MW Fitness for another one, for example. Go subscribe to them. MW Fitness. They are a very small YouTube channel, but I think they're doing great things. You know, the quality of their videos are very, very good, and, and I think eventually they can take off. They're putting a lot of time and their effort into the videos. It shows. This video is getting long. I can go on more topic on this. Again, little rant. How to make a YouTube channel. Good luck, guys. If you, you know, if I can help you at all, if you need some ideas, shoot me a message. Always here to help. 
Max, shoulder guy, out. Oreo, still want to have in there. But my macro's done for the day. When you sleep, you burn muscle. It's called muscle catabolism. You start losing muscle when you sleep, just like you would when you work out. Nick Wright. All right, guys, this is post-workout meal number two. You want to do this half an hour to an hour after your first post-workout meal. Nick Wright.